Hello friends, welcome to a new video from the Indian Flutter YouTube channel. My name is Dan. You all know that I have this website which is stdbs.com and on this website I have uh, talked about all the offerings that I have on my freelancing business. Okay, so in this website we also have a contact form. Now if I go down a little bit and click on this contact us, it will take you to a page where you can see a contact form okay so this is the page and uh, here if you scroll down again you can see that there is a contact form where there are options like your name your email subject and your message now somebody who's visiting our website he can contact us using this form and uh, send us their requirements what kind of freelancing work they want or assistance they want okay that's why we have put this this uh, contact form on this website now what is happening is for some time i'm getting some unwanted emails or messages through this contact form on my email let me show you those messages all right so this is my gmail id and you can see that there are a lot of spam messages okay and i'm sure that these are coming through this contact form now in this video today I'll tell you which contact form to use or which form plugin should you use on your WordPress website so that you can stop this kind of uh, unwanted ma mails okay from coming to your inbox okay these are totally unwanted and these also can have some virus uh, links which can harm you and your computer so watch this video till the end and I'll show you which form I'm using right now and which form I'm going to suggest or recommend you to use in your WordPress websites so that you can stop all these spam emails from coming to your inbox. If you're here for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe because I create this kind of videos very regularly. Make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you know the entire process of how I'm going to replace that uh, contact form and what is the new plugin that I'm going to use. Thanks a lot for watching. Let's get started. Welcome back. So to avoid this kind of messages, you need to use a contact form plugin, which actually uh, has kind, some kind of spam filters on them. Okay. Still, the thing is that uh, there are a lot of uh, people who use these contact forms on WordPress websites to send these uh, malicious emails or messages to your to your inbox. You cannot stop them entirely, but then the new plugin that I'm going to use today is going to help you to restrict those spam mails to come to your inbox. Okay. So to get started, I'll first show you which plugin I'm using right now. And then I'm going to remove that plugin and install the new plugin and also I'll show you how you can configure that plugin for your WordPress website. So as a first step, let's log into WordPress. So I'm on my WordPress admin panel and I'm going to click on login after I've put my username and password. All right, so this is my WordPress dashboard. Now I'll take you to the plugin section and I'll show you the plugin that I'm using right now for that contact form. The name of the plugin is contact form seven. Okay. This is the plugin that I've used to create that form that I showed you here. Right. All right. So what I'm going to do is add a new plugin, use a new plugin instead of contact form seven and configure that plugin and use it on my WordPress website. Okay. So to do that, we'll go to add new here and on the search plugin field I'll write the name Forminator it's called Forminator F-O-R-M-I-N-A-T-O-R let's search it and this is the plugin that I'm talking about you can see that right now it has 100,000 plus active installations and there are 463 reviews and it has got a 5 star review okay and it was last updated one month ago okay so this is the plugin that i'm going to install and it is by wpmu dev okay that's the plugin developer 
all right so i'm clicking on install now if you want to know more about this plugin you can probably click on this more details or you can open the plugins page and read more about it i'm directly installing it right now and uh, once it's installed i'll simply come here to activate the plugin and uh, once it's activated you can see it listed here somewhere here it is listed okay so i've got my new plugin now the first thing that i'm going to do is to deactivate the existing contact form 7 and i'll just click on this deactivate okay and if you want you can delete it as well but then right now i'm not deleting it okay i'll just uh, keep it deactivated and i'm going to change the settings of the new plugin that i have installed okay so i'll click on settings here all right so this is the settings page for the plugin forminator okay we scroll down there are different options here on the left okay you can see and here are the settings that you can change okay if you want to know more about this uh, settings or, or the plugin itself you can click on this view documentation and you will know everything that is uh, relevant to this plugin okay so if you scroll down again here below uh, you can see a panel for the formulator plugin and in that you have dashboard forms polls quizzes submissions integrations some settings and formulator pro if you want to buy the pro version you can click here so i'm going to click on forms as i'm going to add a new form it's going to be a very simple form like we already saw and uh, i'll click on create here okay then there are a lot of things here uh, you can use a template like contact form newsletter code request or you can start with the blank form as well so since we are going to use a contact form i'll take this template and then i'll click on continue here and i need to put a name for this form so i'll just say contact okay i'll click on create all right so this is the form and here i can edit this particular form okay so they have these four fields first name email address phone number and message okay i'm going to edit them a little bit i essentially do not need the phone number but then i just skip it if somebody wants to give the phone number that's fine and in place of first name i'll click here i'll click on edit field and instead of first name i'll just write full name okay and placeholder would be like john smith okay no description required i'll click on apply okay i can also change the styling from here okay but then uh, i'm not going to do it because it will need css i'll just keep it simple for now and i click on apply okay so you can see full name email address these two are mandatory so you have this uh, this red star here and that's all now i'll go to the next screen which will talk about the appearance of that particular form you click on appearance here you can change the design okay you can change the design style they have some pre-made templates or styles okay which you can use or you can have your own the colors you can use the default colors or you can use some custom colors okay and whatever you want you can change from here okay all right now let's see the different styles that they have if it is flat it will look different if it's bold it will look like this if this material it will look like this none okay so there's no style shape all right so we'll keep it material this looks good okay the button is also fine only thing is to change the color so click on submit button all right here i want to change the color and for this particular website i've kept the color green color is is actually red okay so i'll click on select all right 
that's fine. Focus color can be anything, it doesn't matter. It's fine. So it should look like this. I can also preview here and show a preview of the new form. As you can see, this is how the form is going to look like, which is perfect for me. Close the preview and I can change a lot of things uh, here okay which is not a possibility with contact form 7 in contact form 7 you do not have a lot of lot of customization options okay. then you have options like behavior email notifications integrations and other settings if you want to change all these things you can probably go through each of these and make the changes that you want for now I will just keep them as they are okay I don't want to go to the next one I'll just click on publish and it's publishing the form and this is the short code for the form the form id is 918 all right so you can copy this short code and keep it with you okay for later on but then i'll show you a way where you can integrate this with elementor on your website okay now elementor makes it easier you know that all the websites that i create are actually made with elementor if you want to purchase the pro version of elementor which i use normally on most of my websites you can find a link in the description below if you buy the plugin through that link you will not spend anything extra but i'll get a little bit of commission through that so thanks a lot for the support if you buy through that link all right now the next thing that i need to do is to go to the page which i need to edit okay and remove the existing existing form and add this new form that we have just created right so I'll close this then on the left hand side i'll go to pages and here i'm going to go to the contact page and click on edit with elementor elementor or elementor whichever you like you can say that all right so now we are inside the elementor editor you can see the form or the page here however the form here is not visible that is because we have removed this particular form form plugin right we have deactivated that that's why the form is not visible here anymore so i'll just uh, cross and delete this section okay and i'll add a new section from here and it's a single column section so i'll just okay you can see the section has been added so i'll go to advanced first and give some margin to this here i'll put 60 pixels okay so that's the margin that is there okay now i need to put the form the new form that i've created using form editor plugin in this place okay so we we'll go to this widgets again and here you can search for form and you can see this option called formulator widget now when you are working with elementor since formulator is uh, compatible with the elementor you'll get this widget okay so you can directly drag it here once it is added you can uh, select the title if you want you can write a title here which i am not doing right now and you can select the form type whether it's a poll a quiz or a form right now it's a form so we'll select form and we'll select the form id right now we have only one form added to this uh, plugin right now so that is listed here okay so by default it is already selected i'll just click on apply And you can see that the page has uh, updated itself and it is showing up here however it may not show up in this preview we'll just click on update to update this page through elementor and then we'll see the live changes on the on the page itself we we'll go back to our website and this is the previous form we have not refreshed this page that's why it is still showing up so we'll just refresh it now and see how the new form is looking So now you can see on this page, if you scroll down, you can see 
that the new form is showing up okay this is the form that we have added through through forminator okay now there are some color issues here which you can obviously go back and you can update from that appearance section okay all right now there is a different way of adding the form as well like i told you about the short code okay so if you want to use the short code widget you can come here again and go to the widget you can search here short code and you can see this short code here okay you can bring it here all right and here you can add the short code from the form that that created okay so you paste the short code remember this is the short code for that form and click on apply okay so once that uh, short code is applied you can see that the form is showing up here twice one because of the formator widget and second time because of the short code okay so again if i go to update here first you have to update from elementor itself then once it is updated from here you can go to your page you can refresh the page and once it's refreshed you can scroll down okay you can see the form here once and the same form here twice okay so these are the two ways you can add the formulator form on your wordpress website right and i'm using elementor because uh, i've created this website entirely using elementor so formulator also is compatible with elementor like you have seen and uh, you can also change a few things here from the widget itself so if i click on the widget okay you can see edit formulator widget on the left here in the advanced uh, tab there are a few things that you can change like motion effects background border positioning all those things that you normally get in a in a widget on elementor you get those options here for formator as well okay so i would suggest that you use the formator widget and not the short code widget because uh, in the short code widget you have these options also but then it's up to you actually whichever you want to use okay all right so that's how i have uh, changed the the form in my website stdvs.com from contact form 7 to forminator now i'm sure that formator will restrict the spam emails okay it will not let the spam emails to come to my to my inbox anymore and i can breathe free and uh, not be very very tensed about or, or concerned about this uh, spammy emails that i keep getting every day okay so that's all i have in this particular video if you want to know more about creating websites you can check out the course that is there in the description i've uh, used elementor to create the entire website in that particular course it's very easy you don't have to know coding you can just drag and drop things and you can learn to design your own website within a few hours actually okay so check out that course if you like you can buy that course as well it's there on udemy and if you have any other questions uh, regarding designing websites or elementor or anything regarding that you can please feel free to message me in the comment section below okay again if you want to buy the pro version of elementor use the link in the description it will help me a lot that's all i have in this video Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. If you want any more information, please feel free to comment. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. This is Stan signing off from the Indian Philosophy YouTube channel. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.